Oh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to present about my research with the title is The Analysis of uh, Irony in Narrative Text, Snow White Story by Jacob Grimm's. And here we come to the uh, introductions first. Let us start from the literature. Actually, literature has played as an important role in our life, as we know that literatures can be found in a books, novels, poetry, and also other forms of the writings. And then it is customary for the authors, uh, sorry, because literature is, is intended to transmit people talks or feelings. So it is customary for the out for the authors to employ the figurative language to intentionally arouse the reader's uh, emotions and also uh, the reader's talk. In here, there are many kinds of, of figurative language that usually used by the authors when writing the story itself, uh, like a hyperbole, metaphor, irony, personifications, and also simile. And irony itself is one of the figurative language that often found in a literature. And uh, because irony is one of the figurative language that allow the readers to observe the mismatch between what the character thinks can or, or will happen, but the reality is not. So in here, the researcher interested to investigate the use of irony uh, in Snow White Story by Jacob Grimm's. And in here, there are two kinds of research questions that will be guided uh, by the researcher. The first is about uh, what kind of irony used by Jacob Grimm's in Snow White Story. And the second one is how does the irony influence the flow of plot of the story? Can we come to the review of literature related of the literature? The first is about the irony itself. We come to the definitions of irony. According to Du, uh, irony involves the part of, part of the incongruity and also the polar opposite of what one anticipates. And also J, 2003, mentioned that irony is a metaphorical language that creates the polar opposite of the literal meaning. And also Burgess et al, 2011, uh, said that irony is a literal evaluation that is implicit opposed to its intended evaluations and also according to Abrams uh, irony is underlying sense of making inconsistencies or deceptions between what is revealed and what the case is really is so it can be concluded that uh, irony itself is the a uh, kind of figurative language with the, which uh, consists of uh, the, the, the contrast between the expectations and also the reality uh, happened in the story. And then in here, there are many kinds of irony. Uh, actually, in here, according to but yeah, there are three types of irony. The first is about the verbal irony. Verbal irony itself is what is the uh, actors in the story state, but uh, uh, it is opposite to the reality. For example, when the author says that you are so beautiful, but actually uh, you, sorry, for example, like uh, the actors in the story say that uh this room is so clean but actually uh the conditions around uh that room is really dirty so it means that this is kind of uh verbal irony and the second one is about the dramatic irony dramatic irony itself is uh uh the conditions when uh the the actors in the in the story doesn't know but uh we as the reader knows what uh, is the actually uh, the conditions that really happen in the story. And then the third one is about the situational irony. The situational irony means that the expectations of 
the actor in the story uh, with the reality that happened in the story in contrast. So, what is the uh, actors think uh, will be will that will be done and will be happened, but the reality it is not happened in the story. And then in here, there are many preview studies that have been done by some researchers like Asterini in 2016, and also Aktarini in 2019, and also Rahmi 2016. Both of them study, it's, it is a uh, talk about uh, the analysis of irony in a movie, in the novel, and also one more in a poetry, but they uh, don't analyze a uh, kind of irony that uh, conduct by the authors when writing a short story. So in here, the researcher uh, choose uh, analysis of irony in a short story. And then uh, the method of the research. Actually, this research is uh, qualitative research with the descriptive design. And then the instrument used by researcher is the content analysis. For the sample of the study is the story uh, from the Jacob Grimm's with the title is Snow White. And then the result of the study showed that the first is uh, kinds of irony found in the Snow White story is, uh, are dramatical irony when uh, the, the queen uh, didn't know that the huntsmen were uh, were lying uh, about uh, the death of uh, Snow White. He said that Snow White is dead and he broke uh, the lungs and also Snow White's heart. But actually, the fact is, uh, finally, still uh, Snow White is still alive. And the second one is situational irony. It has happened when uh, the, the queen... Uh, think that the mirror will, will say that she is the most beautiful uh, woman in the world, but uh, in contrast, the mirror says that uh, the most beautiful uh, girl or woman in the world is no one. And the third one is verbal irony. Verbal irony itself uh, happened when the uh, glass said that Mm, the queen is the most beautiful woman in the world, but actually uh, the glass knows that the uh, most beautiful woman in the world is no white. And then the second one is about the using irony in the plot twist might provide the necessary suspense for the readers to continue reading to the story. And then that's all about my presentation for today. Thank you very much for your attentions and eye clips. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and